very important what is not sexual harassment because every time we take such kind of workshops in 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 corporates the the, the males specifically or the colleagues working in the organization start mentioning uh, that should we then stop hiring females should we not uh, ask them to sit late in the office should we not give them deadlines should we not scold them these kind of general uh, statements get passed however not every act where a female gets scolded or a female is given targets and she's unable to uh, you know deliver according to those targets and then she gets a reprimand it cannot be termed as sexual harassment one because there is no sexual connotation attached to it uh, for example following up on work absences i shared an example of an offensive act that we should not be asking you know too many personal questions now there uh, if if a female starts taking advantage by going on uh, you know not uh, not uh, being present for work you know without even intimating in advance uh, uh, so can we not follow up with her why did you if she says that was a personal work can we not ask her what person what personal work again it uh, one it depends on uh, on on the policies of the organization for example in our organization initially it used to happen that people used to write personal work in the leave application email or on the software and personal work then we discussed with the team members and we told them that there is no harm in mentioning if you have to go to a doctor's visit or if you have to go to a friend's birthday party or if you have to go to attend a wedding what is the harm in mentioning the reason again these are all the personal reasons for taking a leave but it makes you know that trans it creates a transparency between the uh, between the employer and the employee if she or he mentions the the, the specific reason something that is extremely extremely personal it still you know people discuss everything if it is extremely personal do not mention it then you can always come and say that it's very very personal i cannot share it okay understood perfectly fine however following up on work absences cannot be treated as sexual harassment if there is no sexual connotation attached to it requiring performance according to job standards so if a female is not performing well and if if if, if the supervisor is uh, getting annoyed or reprimanding her or scolding her she cannot you know cry foul she cannot say that i have been harassed or i have been sexually harassed no because there is no sexual connotation at all you you not been performing well uh, the management or the manager or the supervisor has a right to question why you are not performing well reprimanding in relation to work meeting targets deadlines work related stress work related stress and i always always take this up in my workshops see when we are discussing about work and it's good that an organization has a lot of work and uh, i so for example i tell my team members how is it they say there is a lot of work ma'am so i said good as an organization if we are getting a lot of work it means we are doing well so again it's it's a growth path that we are on work related stress using the word harassment if you are stressed out um, is not right my advice to females specifically use the word harassment very very responsibly because you know you never know how the opposite person understands the word harassment to be so you can say that i am worked out there's a lot of stress there's a lot of work i am i am i am uh, too tired working in this organization because of a lot of work i am totally stressed out perfectly fine but when once you start saying that my boss is harassing me with so much of work these are these are things that the words that need to be used very very responsibly touching brushing against pushing without a sexual connotation is not sexual harassment giving constructive feedback about work again is not uh, sexual harassment uh, like the management gurus say that always appreciate team members open in in front of other team members or openly and always give a negative feedback one on one so again if you are giving constructive feedback you are giving a negative feedback for example about something that the female has not done right she cannot cry again that that this guy is harassing me i i was doing it right he is creating a hostile working environment no that's not feed receiving a feedback about something you have not done right uh, let's not uh, take it you know perceive it to be sexual harassment Welcome to Complinity Technologies. Complinity is India's leading governance, risk and compliance software helping companies. 
To manage their compliance, contracts, litigation, legal updates, interfinancial controls and more, Complinity is a one-stop shop for all GRC needs. With our proprietary 12 GRC modules and real-time legal updates on 2,000 plus laws and 24,000 plus compliances. All in an integrated platform that is easy to use with automated alerts and risk management capabilities. Is why compliance managers, general counsels and chief financial officers choose Complinity every time. Join the most innovative and prestigious brands that use Complinity. Automating your compliance management, request a demo at Complinity.com.